Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to tell you about a technique in which we can multiply an M digit number with an N digit number. For example, it may be a 5 digit number with a 6 digit number or a 6 digit number or a 7 digit number. This technique can be used in your competitive exams where time is a precious resource and space is also a precious resource and calculators are also not allowed. So, Let's get started my friend. First of all, the importance of this technique is it requires very less time and very less space while calculating like multiplicating huge numbers such as a 5 digit number with a 9 digit number or a 5 digit number with a 6 digit number. If I tell you the method of this multiplication directly, it may be very confusing for you. So let, let me brief you on the basics of this method. In order for you to understand this, let me start with multiplication from a smaller numbers to the larger number. We will take like 5 to 6 examples to make sure that you will understand the basic method of how to multiply two numbers so that you can understand the method of this calculation. Is Let's start with a one digit number with a two digit number. Let's say 3 multiplied by 1, 4, 14 threes. This is a simple example which many of us can directly answer it. It is 14 3 is 42. But I am using this example to make sure that you will get familiar to the process in which we are going to multiply. That is, usually the multiplication starts like this in our conventional method that is 3 4 is 12 and 3 1 the 3 4 that is 42. But this requires a huge amount of vertical space. We cannot allow that. And it also requires time. The method I am which I am going to tell that is we multiply from left to right. In, in our usual conventional methods, we multiply from right to left, from 4 to 1 in this method. This is time taking and space consuming. So let's get started. In left to right, we multiply simply like 3 into 1, 3 with the first digit 3. And next is 3 4s are 12. 12, we are writing it, writing the number digit 12 like this. That is 1 here and 2 here. The last digit of the result should be written right next to the fir first result. And then all the previous or preceding digits should be written in the upper row in this direction. The result is 42. Let us say 3 is here. And the next result we got a 16. We write 16 as here, it will be 46. Or first digit we got result 30. And the next digit we got 100. The 0 will be here, next 0 will be here and 100. 100 is written like this. So that the last digit comes right next to the previous result. This is the way that we are going to understand it. Now let's let me take an another example where say 7 into 29. It can be answered directly. Let's do it in our method that is 7 2s are 14 and 7 9s are 63. And we are going to write 63 so that, such that 3 comes right next to the first result and 6 right top of the 4. Let us calculate that is 3, 10 and 203. 7 into 29 is 203 which is the right answer. Now let's go multiplying a 2 digit number with a 2 digit, two digit number that is 14 multiplied by 74. You can multiply this in two ways. One way is to consider 14 entire 14 as a single digit, single digit number and multiply it with 14 into 7 right down here and 14 into 4 right down here we can do it directly but in order for you to get familiar with our process while multiplying with a huge number huge digit numbers like 5 digit into 6 digit number this is not a feasible way and it will be very confusing so let let me simplify it for you so that you can understand it correctly in, two, in this such a scenario, we again take the first digit of the left side number and the first digit of the right side number and multiply it each other. That is 1 into 7, a 7 will write it directly. When come to the next digit, 
the first digit and the first digit are computed in the left number we will take the next digit that is 4 and multiply with this first digit that is 4728 but this is not the end result of this step that is 28 after that in the first number we move leftwards in the right number we move rightwards that is we take 1 and multiply with the next digit in the second number that is 4 1 into 4 4 and we add this both up that is 32 now this is the end result of this step and we can write 32 now that is not a word entire digits of the first digit are multiplied successfully multiplied in this process with the first digit of the second number don't get confused I am repeating it for you again that is the entire digits like in the first step we multiplied the first first digit with this first digit and second digit so in the second step we multiplied the second digit with the first digit if there is a third digit we will multiply in the next step with the third digit with the first digit in the third step that's what I mean by telling the multiplying of entire digits of the first number first number with the first digit of the second number so we will cancel out the first digit now we will move on to the second digit but here we just multiply it from the end end digit that is 4 into 4 16 we write down the result here and 1 into there is no number on the right to right words of the 4 so there is nothing to multiply and we can leave it here it is 4 into 4 16 and we should write 16 here like this 6 3 and 1036 is the answer and we can verify it let me give you another example that is three digit number multiplied by a four digit number or we can multiply it with the three digit number that is 132 again i am telling you let's start with the calculation it is one first digit of the first number and the first digit of the second number you can directly multiply and write down it it is 1 into 1 1 now the real process starts in the second step take the second digit of the second the first number and multiply it with the first digit of the second number that is 2 1 the 2 now move leftwards here move rightwards take the first digit 1 multiply with the next digit 3 1 into 3 3 add these both up 5 write down 5 here we multiplied second step the second step is completed now next the third step take third digit that is 4 multiply it with the first digit like 4 ones are 4 next move leftwards take 2 here move rightwards take 3 to 3 is a 6 move leftwards 1 move rightwards 2 that is 2 12 write down 12 here like this now as as previously i said the entire digits of the first digit are successfully multiplied with the first digit so we can cancel it out now let's start multiplying the second digit while multiplying here in this step directly start with the multiplying with 4 4 3 is a 12 plus move leftwards here and move rightwards here it is 2 2 is a 4 plus 1 into there is nothing here so there is no need to multiply There's 1 2 12 plus 4 16 we will write 16 here now it is 4 so here we can now we can directly cancel out 3 now there is remaining number is 2 and we can directly multiply with the last digit 4 2 are 8 plus 2 into there is nothing here so 0 1 into there is nothing here so 0 that is 8 and write 8 here 8 6 3 6 1 this is the answer this is the amount of space that is required don't worry about this space because this is not you are not going to use this in the examination hall and you will get familiar with this step such that you can add them directly and write down the answer let me show you another example let us take 100 
four hundred sixty eight multiplied by seven six four three. This is a three digit number multiply by four digit number. So same as again first digit with the first digit it is four into seven twenty eight. In the next step we are moving we will move right uh, leftwards here we will move rightwards here from now on. The second uh, move to the second digit six seven zero forty two plus four six zero twenty four. It is six six sixty six. Write down sixty six here. Now move to the third digit. It is eight eight seven zero fifty six plus six six zero thirty six plus four four zero sixteen. It is one hundred and eight. One hundred and eight. We will write one hundred and eight like this. One zero eight. Now all the three digits are successfully multiplied with. First number. So now cancel it out. Next, directly take the second number and multiply it from eight to four. Here six to three. That is eight into six forty eight plus six into four twenty four plus four into three twelve. That is fourteen eighty four. Now take this is six is completed. Cancel it out. Now take the third digit. That is four. Now start from here. Eighteen to four, thirty-two plus sixteen to three, eighteen plus four into there is nothing zero, so there is no need to add. Eight plus two, ten, fifty. Note down the fifty here. Four is completed. Now go for the last digit. Eighteen to three, twenty-four plus sixteen to zero, zero, four into zero, zero. So six threes are sorry, eight threes are twenty-four is the result. Now add add them up. Four two. Nine, sixteen, seven, fifteen, three. You can check out the result that is four hundred and sixty-eight multiplied by seven thousand six hundred and forty-three is equals to three five seven six nine two four. See, if this is to be done without this part of the calculation, rough work, it will take just a three-line step. If you do it with a conventional method, where, as if I have shown here, it will take a huge amount of space and huge amount of time, which will be very bad for you in the competitive exams. So let's get to the next step. Let me again give you an example of seven six-digit number with a seven-digit number that is. One seven three five zero two. Let let it be a six-digit number multiplied by seven-digit number. That is two four three seven two one and zero. Now let's start. Let multiply the first-digit number with the first-digit number that is first digit with the first digit that is two. After that, go to the second digit. Multiply the first digit that is seven is fourteen plus one into four eighteen. Now multiply this with the first digit that is three to six. I'm writing this down just for an example for you for only this step. Sorry. Say three to the six plus twenty eight that is six plus twenty eight that is thirty four plus one into three three thirty seven. Right here. Next go to the fourth digit. Multiply the first digit that is five to the ten plus Twelve, ten plus twelve, twenty-two, plus twenty-one, forty-three, plus seven, fifty. After that, go with the next digit that is five, five two. Sorry, zero, 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 plus five into four, twenty, plus three into three, nine, twenty plus nine, twenty-nine, plus forty-nine, seventy-seven, forty-nine, twenty-nine, plus forty-nine. That will be seventy-eight plus one into two, two is eighty. After that, go to two, multiply it with the first digit. That is two into two, two plus zero into four, four. Two into two, four plus zero into four, zero. It is four. And five into three, fifteen. Fifteen plus four, it is nineteen. Nineteen 
19 plus 21, 40 plus 14, 54, 55. Here we completed the multiplication of the first digit with all the numbers here. So you can cancel it out. Max directly go for 4 and multiply it from 2 to the left in the first digit, first number. So 2 into 4, 8 plus 0 plus 35, 8 plus 35, 43 plus 6, 49 plus 7, 56 plus 0, it is 56. Four. Cancel out 4. Now go to the right number that is 2 into 3, 6 plus 0 plus 10, 16 plus 3 it is 19 and 0 so it will be 19 cancel it out now go for 7 2014 plus 0 14 plus 5 it will be 19 plus 0 it will be 19 now go for the next number 2 to the 4 plus 0 plus 0 it is 4 now go for the next number 2 plus 0, 0, 0 to be 2. Now go for the last number, 2, 0, 0. Now add up, now add up this number 0, 2, 4, 9, 10, 8, 10, 6, 8, 12, 12, 4. The answer is 4, 2, 2, 8, 6, 0, 8, 0, 9, 4, 2, 0. Let me confirm this answer. The answer is 4, in the Google, it is 4228608094200, which is exactly the same thing that we got here. See, the amount of space required for this calculation is this much. It is multiplication of a six digit number multiplied with a seven digit number. That's it, guys. That's it for today. I hope you understand the process. If any doubts, comment in the comment section below so that I will make another video explaining it to you even more clear than this video. Thank you.